<laughs> so yesterday somehow um my sephora footage got lost um so let me show you guys what i picked up i've already taken it out of the box um i wanted to create my own palette eyeshadow palette they didn't give me one of those empty palettes like they do at mac like when you buy the pot separate they'll give you like a little palette to start but they didn't do that at sephora i don't know if the girl forgot or what but anyway i bought love letter that's this color right here so it's just a nice burgundy color and then this one is sunset and that's just a little gold one but i decided to take um, those back because in my morphe palette it's a color just like this one and then i tried this one on yesterday and i just didn't like the way it looked and then i bought this um anastasia lip gloss it's in the color Grim. I'm taking that one back too because I have an Anastasia lipstick that's the exact same color. But, well, it looks the same. It's it's a cool brown matte lipstick. Let me show y'all. It looks like this. So, it basically looks the exact same on my lips. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, go back to Sephora. Take those back. And I also picked up a few perfume samples before committing to buying the whole bottle. Because y'all know perfume is not cheap. So, um, I have the Versace Crystal Absolute. I have the regular Versace Bright Crystal, but I wanted to try the Absolute. It smells pretty good, but I wanted to see how it smelled on me. Um, and then I got the Tom Ford Ombre Leather. That one smelled really nice. And then the Burberry Herb Blossom. So, I'm going to try these out, see how I like them. But I really, really like the Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Um, I think it's a man's uh, cologne but I think it's um, unisex it smells really really nice so um, I'm leaning more towards the Versace bright crystal absolute because I've been wanting to um, buy this one for a while because every time I go in the store because I really like the Versace bright crystal and every time I go in the store I always pick up the absolute but I just don't want to spend the money so <laughs> I'm going to try these samples so I'm headed over to, I need to put these back in the case. I guess I'll do that. I wonder why the girl didn't give me one of those little empty pallets though. That was a little weird, but I don't know. I don't really shop at Sephora that much, so I don't know if they do that or not. But, um, so yeah, so I'm headed out and I have to show you guys my hair cause I cut my hair. Not my new weave, some old weave that I had already. So yeah, I'm taking this stuff back. So we're going to Sephora. I need to get some more Laura Mercier um, setting powder because I'm all out. And I wish I would have known that yesterday because I would have picked it up while I was in there. But I can go ahead and just exchange that for what I really need. So here's my hair. <laughs> it's so cute. I want my hair like this a lot. Um but this is like the the oldest unit that i had i washed everything um and then this morning when i woke up i was like well maybe i'll just do a bob so this is it it's real nice and flirty i just put like a few loose curls in it and yeah just run your fingers through it real cute messy bob so yeah so what i'm getting ready to do right now is um y'all know on thursdays i do my mukbangs so um I'm getting ready to do the, um, what is that thing called? What is it? Impossible. I'm getting ready to do the Impossible Whopper, but I'm going to do a car bomb. So I'm going to do it inside um, my car. So hopefully, because I got to rig something up to get everything to sit. Um, so hopefully it works out. Um, well, it will work out. It's going to work out. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, I was waiting until... 11 o'clock when um right when burger king opens so i can get a nice fresh one so i'm going up there and then sephora and then I'm, then i'm going to best buy because i want them to look at my camera because y'all know um the struggle that i've been having with my mukbang channel when i try to sit down to record a video it doesn't um focus on my food and my face it's either or so i want to see if they can tell me what i need to do to get that to happen so that's the plan for today and i think that's pretty much it so let's go sis 
the car mukbang was not a success because I couldn't get the lighting right and I just don't want to put out no trash video. Like, I just don't. So, I still got the food. Well, of course I got the food, obviously. But, um, the Impossible Whopper is very good. Um, I'm still working on it. I ordered a chicken sandwich and the Impossible Whopper just in case I didn't like the Impossible Whopper. But it's really good. It tastes just like a burger. I kind of knew it was going to taste pretty good. Anytime you get like a vegan burger and cook it on the grill, nine times out of ten it's going to taste bomb. If you guys are wondering what that blue pail is, that's something that I had my tray sitting up on so I can record. It didn't work. None of it worked, child. So I'm either going to skip today's mukbang or eat something later but because I'm eating this burger I don't know if I'm gonna want to eat anything later so this is what I have left it's really good all right now I'm gonna go to Sephora first I'm gonna go to Sephora first and then Best Buy's right across the street and um I low-key feel like crap because like I ate all of that for nothing but I guess it wasn't that fattening because it's not a real burger. So, but I did eat the fries and I do have a soda, which I'm not going to finish. I never drink sodas unless it's like the last resort. I don't even know why I ordered a soda. If y'all can see like it's still full, it's still to the top. I'm not going to really drink that, but I have been kind of sipping on it. So yeah, now I'm just headed over here to return this stuff and then see if these people can help me with my camera. And then I have to try to figure out what I'm gonna do for a mukbang because now I'm like not hungry anymore. Hopefully someone's nice enough to show me how to properly use my camera because I didn't buy it from Best Buy, but I don't know if that matters. So I'm gonna see if they'll help me. You know, in focus. Mm -hmm. So you just have to, um, this is your aperture, this is f1.8. Mm -hmm. The lower that gets, the blurrier the background again. So you wanna adjust that. See, she's not blurry anymore. Yeah, so that's pretty much all you have to do. Now you just have to kind of 
I just put that note out, yeah, ISO, which means it's dark, you know, it, it, it's either it's too dark or it's too bright. This is going to pretty much just do auto and see, you know, stay in the middle. All right. So, yeah, it should Okay, y'all, so I made it back home. I did stop by um, the jewelry store and look at some new rings because I was supposed to, but they cleaned my ring for me. But I was supposed to get a new ring on my 10th year anniversary, but I just can't find one that I like. But, um, let me show y'all what I got. So I just got the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I get mine in medium deep. And then I just got a little sample of the Makeup Forever foundation. So I'm gonna try that out. That's one thing I like about Sephora, they'll give you samples. So yeah, so this is it. And she said she'll send this color um, to me in my email so I could know the exact color if I decide to purchase um, the big one. Okay, so I wanna make some smoothies and then I'm going to um, put some in a baggie just to pull out of the freezer when I want another one. So um, I'm gonna use almond milk. The mixed fruit, this one has pineapple, strawberries, peaches, and mangoes. And then I have some fresh spinach. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use my Nutra Ninja. I won this at my old job. It came with like three different cup sizes. So I'm going to use this one. I think this is the biggest one. So um, I'm going to go ahead and add the stuff in and make the first smoothie. Pay attention to my hair because I got wet in the rain. It was raining earlier, but I just put a little mint leaf just to garnish it. That's good. So now we're just gonna bag up a few, um, maybe like three. How much fruit do I have? We can bag up a few um, and put them in the freezer for a later date. So let's go ahead and do that. for five different smoothies so some of them have the mixed fruit this one i just added some of those peaches you remember that i um i picked up that bag of peaches from a rose the other day so i just added some of those this one just has peaches and spinach the mixed fruit and spinach mixed fruit and spinach and then this one is just the peach and spinach so this is real quick and easy for you ladies that's or gentlemen that's in a rush and you don't have time but you want to get your fruit and vegetables in even if you rather do it with fresh fruit and you want to chop it up and prep everything the night before because i like to do mine like that too yeah you can use fresh fruit frozen fruit and prep up your smoothies set them in the freezer and just grab and go in the morning so yeah you're welcome okay and i've already made room in my freezer for them See this one right here. I already have one in there behind this. And then we'll just set these right here. Set these right here. This one. Set 
look nice and neat. <laughs> and there you go. Smoothie in a bag. <laughs>